Rated, you're able to lock it off in order to redress a screw. So if I had a really damaged screw that I wasn't able to get a turn on, I can put that in and I can strike it, locked off, which will redress the fascia of the screw, which will allow me to turn it out. But then if it's rusted in and it's given me real cause for concern, I've got the ability to unlock it, which gives me a quarter inch turn when I strike it. So just to give you an example of that, we've got screws here that are, that are locked in, okay, so I would strike, which would redress the screw, I then flick it over so that my spring is now going to work under tension, I hold the tension on, strike it, and that allows the screw to be turned out. So obviously I'm at the Nikita stand now, just having a look at the various and multiple different types of tools they've got. And uh, I've just spotted the multi-tool, which I think I might just be buying later. What? <laughs> what is it? It's an auto feed screwdriver, but I don't know masses about these because I don't use it. This is more of a dry lining plaster uh, for bucking in the screws. Uh, we pass it for uh, a chippy. Um, yeah, one of the lots of screws. I'll be back. <laughs> I bought myself a multi-tool uh, from 
Makita. Um, I just tried it out on the shot with a battery on it. It's incredibly quiet. There's very, very little vibration on it. Um, so it's going to be great. I'm going to be um, using this a lot. Uh, replace my old one. And uh, what, what I've got to do now is find some blades to go and fit into it. <coughs> okay, that's good. Yes, they, 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 seem, they seem better padded. As well. 100% better padded. So all of our knee pads in the so we've got the hard shell, they have kind of sold out to that. But the hard shell and the uh, non marking come with a gel line on the inside. Okay. So they're fully impact tested. I think it took to about, it took to about two ton. So then you should be able to drop them about a metre high on them. Okay. Very cool. I hope I'm going to do that. Oh, no, you don't want to do it. Obviously, well, they're also ergonomic, so they're both yeah. to the left and the right knee. Mm -hmm. And then you've also got straps. We haven't gone for teeth on the straps to give that mobility and then you dig it in. And obviously, what we've done as well is they've come over the top. Yeah, yeah, most of the pads fit yeah, flat. They, they just stop, they sit, don't they? They sit quite yeah. nice on the knee. I wonder about that. Isn't they adjustable as well? Fully adjustable, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is on a full elastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And then, yeah, we didn't want to go for anything that was, we didn't want straps, we didn't want clips or nothing. So the idea is literally you just put your engine in and put your engine in. There's nothing actually in the back of your engine. There's a push control up there. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Looks like they've got a control on. Oh, there we go. Oh, left and right. Yeah. <laughs> There's masses of different knee pads out there and I just haven't found anything that works. Yeah, to be fair, yet. I've been in the trade for quite a long time and obviously the most common knee pads are the ones you put into the trousers. Yeah. And there's quite a lot of different gels and, and all sorts. Now obviously as our uh, impact we've actually done as impact rated. So it's not just a gel to keep you comfortable, it's also a gel to keep you safe. Yeah. Give us a deal on a pair. That's a plain bit of map. Product design engineer for CK. Welcome. Yes. And you're going to show me some uh, tools. I am indeed, yeah. So this is our arm slice. And what we'll be doing today is stripping some armored cable. So we'll start off is you put your armored cable inside here and it begins to tighten the clamp. Now what you want to do is ensure that the top of the thread here meets the top of the clamp. Keep going. That's tension. You want to stop around about there. Okay, it's got enough. Next thing we want to do is make sure we've taken it the right way. Put the mark in there, it says rotate. We've also got a mark down here, which also says which way to rotate. So we'll start ideally about 20 to 25 turns. Should be enough. Exercise for the day. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now, move the clamp. Pull away. Get our knife. Go away with the outer sheath then. There we go. And now what we're going to do, grab one of these armor strands and just begin pulling backwards and forwards or just fold away like that. Take like you do armored. Sorry? You do armoured cable path? I do, unfortunately. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, do Which method do you use? Do you use the armour slice or do you use a hacksaw? Oh, I use the armour slice. Every nice. time. Nice. Really quick, really easy. No hard work. No, I did use a hacksaw once and uh, I've got the scar to show it. Nice and uniform cut all the way around. Grab it again. Place it over. Notch down. Tighten up again. Same amount of tightness. And then spin it a couple of times until you hear it start to come into the armature hands. Pull away. Back it 
off. Put my knife again. Do it away with the rest of the old sheath in. And then we'll be ready to make to an arm plan. Very welcome. Very welcome. So we uh, just finished our stint at Tool Fair, and oh look, just missed a turn of right here on the way home. Damn. So there ends another year of uh, Tool Fair, certainly for myself um, down in Exeter. Had a really interesting morning. Uh, learned some new things that, uh, well, I say I learned some new things. Had, had some information clarified, uh, especially regarding to uh, RCDs and AFDDs, and uh, even touching uh, a few of the social protection devices. Um, met some fantastic people. Um, had a good chat with uh, my Wilkie and uh, Weira, amongst others. Um, didn't come away with quite as many tools as I'd hoped. Um, but I do have uh, access online to, uh, to go and purchase said items uh, with the discount code that they gave me. Um, so all in all, really exciting, really fun day out. Um, that's my holiday done for a year. Uh, see you uh, on the next one.